Hey Ross, salsa. It's not gonna hold me down. Switch your sides, no, you are not. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can over-edit to perfection. I'm going to be showing you a lot of unique effects that you can apply. And you can actually use these to develop your own style of editing. And it will just help you over-edit really, really well. Now, before we get into the video, guys, I've got a quick announcement to make. I want to make a deal with you guys. If you can smash 1,000 likes on this video, I'll be releasing a ultimate editing pack next week. So, if you guys can get 1,000 likes, then I'll release a ultimate editing pack with loads of over edited presets cinematic sound effects everything you're going to need to basically become an insane editor 1000 likes for that i know you can do it make sure to share this with some friends and you know just encourage people to like the video let's get 1000 likes now within this tutorial you're going to need a few plugins i'm going to link all different methods to getting them down below now if you can't get twixter which i know a lot of people do have issues with don't worry i show the best velocity as well later in the video also guys just before we fully get into it just drop a like and subscribe to the channel for me please it really does mean a lot make sure to join the notification gang because i shout out my notification gang at the start of every single video so turn on those post notifications and you could be shouted out in my next video anyways guys let's get straight into it right guys so as always you personally want to go ahead and do is get your song and clip of choice now for this specifically when you're over editing you do want a song with a lot of beat drops because that's going to provide you with a lot more opportunities to add effects bass impacts all of that stuff so i highly recommend you get a song with a lot of beat drops now once you've gone ahead and done that you want to stretch your clip out to the recommended amount whatever you want um, i'm just going to fade this in because i'm only doing one clip to start with and you want to basically put the marker so where the main beat drop is press m on your keyboard to create a marker and you want to basically get the shield crack on there so we're going to pull this all the way until we get to the shield crack just like this where the red dots come up and the blue shield comes up then you want to put this on the marker and drag this out now that you've done that it's kind of roughly synced and what we're going to go ahead and do is apply the first twix the preset that i've made for you guys what you want to go ahead and do to apply this is go to down here the cursor position double click on this hit minus 30 and that's going to move us 30 frames back then we're going to split the clip okay so once you've gone ahead and split the clip 30 frames before the main beat drop you want to go ahead and apply the twix the preset that i've linked first link in description super easy to do just do some i think two super easy and simple steps and that will give you access to the plugin now make sure that you click the unlock link multiple times until that google drive pops up if you don't know how to actually download and apply presets with preset manager then i'll link a video below of me explaining exactly how to do that as well but once you've gone ahead and done it you want to click the fx here and then you want to go ahead and find the tarot twix the 30 frames before kill just want to hit ok once you've selected that and basically that's going to apply this sort of slow-mo before the kill and after the kill it's going to speed up and then slow down again it's just going to basically have velocity but super super smooth okay so once you go ahead and apply your twixter you should have basically the pre-effect section right here 30 frames before and the regular after kill section so make sure to split your clip and kind of cut it down to the right amount ready for the next clip after now once you go ahead and done this we're going to be adding effects on the pre-effect i'm going to be showing you a lot of different things that you can do and give you a nice variety when it comes to over editing so firstly uni chromatic aberration is a great effect that you guys can use basically you want to go ahead and apply this add the default version on and copy what i do here so put the master distortion at zero go to the end put it to one do the same thing for the master scale set it to zero keyframe and put it up to one we go and then you want to go ahead and do the same thing with the edge blur uh, put this at zero and then put it to one at the end so basically what this is going to do is going to build a really nice sort of rgb on the edges i can see right here and help build up to the main kill effect next thing you can add is film damage again really nicely used in over editing you can use it for a build up or just over the whole video as a color correction i like to use it as a build up when I put everything to zero, go to the dust density, put it to zero as well. Keyframe that, and then at the end, put that to 30. Then the other thing on the film damage, which is really, really nice, is the vignette darkness. Again, do the same thing, but keyframe this to 0.8. And that's going to build up some nice dust particles and really help sort of build up the edges to the kill. Next thing, something essential in VFX has got to be the pinch punch. Just do what I do here, put this amount to zero. Then you want to hit animate, go to the end, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 frames in. Put your zero keyframe here, 
straight to the end and then put this to minus 0.7 now for something you may have seen before but is really really good what you want to go ahead and do first is go to color correct the secondary now you can use magic bullet looks but i know a lot of people do have issues getting that plugin so if you would like me to make a specific magic bullet looks tutorial then let's get this video to 1000 likes and i got you guys but right here we're going to have the that you saturate all but reds add this on don't have to change any uh, effects then we're going to go to hue sat bright and add the default version on then you can cu fully customize this change your hue shift to whatever as you can see it changes the color of everything that isn't red now i'm going to go with something kind of like a blue because that will match the rest of the montage and you can go ahead and do the same thing as well now to make sure this isn't a drastic and sudden change you want to fade this in by about 0.07 just so it fades in nicely there and as you can see that is basically all we have to do for our pre-effect an optional but really nice thing that you may have seen before by other editors is basically you want to split the audio at the side of the pre-effect and at the end change these effects to amplitude modulation okay then go to the preset and put this to wacky after you've gone ahead and done this you just want to add one effect which is going to be flicker go ahead and drag and drop the default version on and copy my settings and this right here can build up a super super nice it's going to sort of make the audio go in and out and the flick is going to complement that nicely for the main kill effect now one thing i highly suggest following is when you have a crazy sort of pre-kill effect just like this one right here i wouldn't recommend adding something insane afterwards either because that really would be too much and you do want the clip to sort of speak for itself so in order to actually fix this or just stick with this rule you want to go ahead and add a nice impact so you want to go to tarot y shake uh put the default version on and copy my settings i'm gonna open these up all right now real quick so you can go ahead pause the video and copy these settings i have shown this off in the past before but just for the new people that haven't seen these settings yet there you go then you want to keyframe the amplitude you want to go one two three four five six seven eight frames in put the sound to zero then you want to go one two three four five six frames in and put this up to two that's going to be a nice sort of y shake impact then the regular highlight shake keyframe that here are all these settings for new people make sure to subscribe if you haven't yes sir go ahead and do all of that then keyframe this go about midway through the clip and put this down to zero and there is your nice shake now to complement this i'm going to show you some insane glow settings that are just so good drag and drop the default version on and copy my settings right here go ahead and copy those now again the color is fully customizable i might go with something a little bit brighter you want to keyframe the brightness go in line with the middle or a little bit in between so in between these two shakes right here and then put the brightness down to zero and that's just gonna make sure it doesn't last too long and that is basically your super nice clean simple impact final thing is just your flicker you have to add this to an over edited after kill effect it just makes it 10 times better and you want it to be nice and bright so make sure you have that brightness on 1.2 so that right there is basically a standard over edited pre-effect example and effect after kill example it's just a few different effects you don't have to put them all at once but it's something that you guys can use to really help you over edit well and you can kind of develop your own style by changing settings and sort of putting your own twist on things for example what you might want to do is add a mask over the character and do that in your specific way or you might want to add more effects on to really make it enhanced and a lot nicer so there really are a lot of possibilities with this and over editing the next thing i'm going to show you is a base impact that i highly recommend you include in over edit and it's why i suggested that you have a song with a lot of beat drops in it now like i said at the start of the video this is where i'm going to come in clutch for the people that can't get twixter so basically i'm going to firstly add the velocity this is the god velocity in my opinion for over editing because it's super sharp and quick so you want to put the main point here by adding velocity you want to right click insert move envelope and velocity then you want to put the main point here and set this to 300 percent forward velocity then you want to go one two three four five six frames back and add a point if you want it even sharper you can actually go four frames but i'm just going to play it a little bit safe and go six frames then you want to set this to normal go back to this point here and go one to the right go about three quarters in and put this to 50 percent and this is a sort of alternative to twixter if you want me to show you a velocity that actually slows down and builds up just like the twixter did then make sure to drop a like and put that in the comments if it's highly requested i will go ahead and do it if you can't get twixter but the tutorial below should work for most people 
Now here, as you can see, we would have marked the beat drop so we want our bass impacts. So to actually use these, you want to split the clip on both points. Then we want to go ahead and add our effects. Okay, so for the bass impacts, this is exactly what you want to go ahead and do. Firstly, go ahead and get glint. Go to S underscore glint and then choose the default version and copy all of these settings right here. This is going to add a bit of glow and really spice up the video. Why do I keep saying that? I don't even know. But basically you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 frames in. And then put this down to 0 from 400. After you've added the glint, the next thing we're going to add is lens blur. Go ahead and drag and drop the default version on and copy my settings. This again is going to help enhance the glint and just add a bit of change on the main beat drop. Now once you've gone ahead and done this, the main thing you want to add is shake. This is going to actually you know, add the impact itself. So you want to go ahead and drag and drop the default version on and copy my settings. Keyframe this and go here and put this to zero. Now yes, don't worry, I'm going to show you the X and Y shake, chill. Open these up and yep, you can go ahead and copy these right here. Now that you've done that, you're going to have your actual effects applied. Now you want your pan and crop. So you want to make this a bit smaller. And then you want to tilt it to either way, whichever looks better in your situation. I think this way looks better here. Go to the end, right click and hit restore. Then you could copy and paste this over but because this has velocity, you can't really do that. So we're just going to reapply the effects or save this as a preset. Now the final but super, super important things that you guys really do need to add when over editing is going to be sound effects and a color correction. Now I've linked many different color corrections in previous free editing packs which will be in description and in my future editing pack I'm going to be adding more that are actually much much better so look out for that. So you can go ahead and apply some of those already given out color corrections and by the time you're watching this video if my editing pack is out you can use those. Now as for the sound effects they're going to be my discords in the hashtag uh, downloads section where both of the sound effects or this specific pump sh uh, shotgun sound effect is going to be and you just want to go ahead and line that up with the main beat drop as for the color correction basically i've added a preset so you want to click on the effects here and that's going to open up all of the presets and you can apply the presets on the whole layer and you're going to have your color correction over the whole layer so that's just two super essential things that i recommend you guys add when you're over editing it really does sort of piece things all together very well but yeah guys that's basically the whole video there if you would like some more stuff in the future like an upcoming editing pack that sort of stuff i'm going to set a goal of 1000 likes if this video gets 1000 likes i will be releasing a brand new insane over editing pack for sony vegas and possibly premiere and after effects so if you want to see that make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on again if this video did help you any support back really does mean a lot especially if you guys could use code tower in the item shop that if you're on fortnite right now takes a few seconds and means so much to me but yeah guys that's going to be the whole video i really hope you enjoyed and i really hope i helped you peace